G'day guys, Roscoe here. Um, as you can see, I've just pulled out the port bathroom uh, to do a bit of work on it. It took me around about a week to get this thing done, but you can have a look at the top pattern here, which is actually the floor of the head, and then what you're looking at there is the drain of the shower unit. Um, there's a lot of little pinholes and, and crazy cracking from where this thing's been oxidising and sitting in the sun, so needed a significant amount of work. Uh, hand sanding right through the sandpapers, filling with gel coat. I reckon I had three or four goes at some of the little ones. But, uh, you know, after around about a week of work on this particular module, I was able to restore it to a point where um, I was able to give it then two coats of sealer glaze, which is that uh, TR release agent, and then another four waxes before um, I applied a PVA um, uh, solution. I sprayed that to the top of the of, to the top of the mould to make sure that I got good release on the intricates of patterning and uh, and also you'll see a little bit further on when I get uh, a bit further into the polishing here um, I, I've left half of it unpolished and the other half fully polished and you can really see a stark difference between those finishes so ultimately we were able to get this thing back to a to a, a perfect or almost as, as good as new uh, finish and ready to pull a product off um, I'll lead you a little bit in a moment into uh, the gel coating process and then uh, you know a couple of the layers that we put on there just with uh, with uh, with uh, polyester resin and uh, and chop matting and we did actually do some rovings on this one to give it a little bit of strength where it needed it. But this bit you'll have a look here right here is uh, on the left hand side there we've got a, a fully buff finish and on the other side I'm not quite uh, completely buff but the the difference is quite marked in that uh, in that finish but really. Uh, you know, quite a successful process. I thought as I work through these videos, I might show you what we're trying to achieve. I'm lucky enough to have photos of all the uh, the build process of this boat. Um, this is the surround of the port bathroom that I'm working on here. And then this, in fact, is the port bathroom uh, module complete with the roof panels and, uh, and obviously glass uh, wear for the shower. Got trace on the tools again. Don't slip over, mate. Mate, I can't slip over with any things on my feet. <laughs> Thank you. 
car. I can only take this off for about uh, half a second because uh, the fumes in here are pretty bad. Um, we're basically onto the third layer of uh, the port bathroom. You can see here I've got a bit of chop matting on there. What I'm going to try and do is film it. I've got this uh, amazing um, gel coating gun that uh, also acts as a resin wet out gun. So we're not choppering the, uh, the resin and the glass on. We're actually laying it on in cloth so that way we're getting a nice measured quantity. And, uh, and we're getting this really sort of superb finish with uh, about a quarter of the effort. So you can see here, over here, that's not quite wet and in a second it will be. So I'm gonna get my mask back on. Okay, so I'm gonna use my gun. I've already laid, uh, there's already two layers on there, already consolidated, rolled down. And I'm gonna get my gun and what that does is sprays catalyzed resin onto the uh, chop matting and then we basically roll it in. So I'm gonna basically film that for a second uh, before I get high. Woo. Okay, so this guy's got an air assist function on it, which actually evenly gives you an aerosol spray pattern, which is, uh, you can control the spray pattern. Absolutely brilliant for, um, for uh, laying up resin. shed uh, just prepping for a sea kayaking expedition we've got leaving tomorrow with a bunch of school kids 
Um, this is sort of what I do for a living. Uh, I manufacture coax. In fact, most of the high gear here, apart from our polyethylene boats that we buy from other, other brands, are actually made by me. Um, I guess at the end of the day, this is one of the key things that have allowed me or afforded me the opportunity to be able to build my catamaran is that I have a little bit of downtime. We've got a reasonably long winter. You know, we've got a couple of months through winter where there's really not a lot happens. And, uh, and we usually run kayaking trips uh, throughout the year in Jervis Bay here. We've got a fairly temperate climate here. So if you look up www.ccoacjervisbay.com, that's our company. And that's pretty much what I uh, like to think that I do all year. Um, Tracy that you've met that I bring in on the tools every now and then she's uh, she's our head instructor and in fact our uh, our assessor for Australian canoeing courses that we run and uh, and her and I uh, tend to sort of manage all the the uh, logistics of a, a small but uh, you know in, incredibly uh, uh, good we think it's a very good uh, sea kayak tour operation we, we've got world-class sea kayaking here in Jervis Bay we've got a marine park environment we've got crystal clear water and if you look up that website uh, you know come and visit us if ever you're out here and come and have a paddle with us you know because that's what we do for a living um, in the meantime these videos uh, keep playing along and uh, and the cats uh, progressing well but the one thing I'm going to try to do is to try to break up some of the uh, laminating of the hull because it's going to be a fairly long process including foam core and, and around about eight layers of uh, of laminating so there may not be a lot of variety so I'm going to try to break it up with some of the smaller jobs we're doing around the uh, around the cat like doing the modules like in this episode with the port bathroom or the port head so if you're interested in uh, in watching some more please subscribe send it out share it out to your mates you know basically the, the more the merrier as far as i'm concerned and uh, and if you get anything out of it well, that's great and uh, and i'll see you next time on life on the mold <laughs>